the place which is called Calvary. Luke chapter 23 verse 33 the hill of comfort is the hill of Calvary. The house of consolation is built with the wood of the cross. The temple of heavenly blessing is founded upon the cleft rock, split by the spear that pierced his side. No scene in sacred history ever gladdens the soul like Calvary's tragedy. Is it not strange, the darkest hour? that ever dawned on sinful earth, should touch the heart with softer power, for comfort than an angel's mirth, that to the cross the mourner's eye should turn, sooner than where the stars of Bethlehem burn. Light springs from midday to midnight in Golgotha. Every herb of the field blooms sweetly, beneath the shadow of the once accursed tree. In that place of thirst, grace has dug a fountain that ever gushes with waters pure as crystal, each drop capable of alleviating the woes of mankind. You who have had your seasons of conflict will confess that it was not at Mount of Olives that you ever found comfort, not on the hill of Sinai, nor on Tabor, but Gethsemane, Gabbatha and Golgotha have been a means of comfort to you. The bitter herbs of Gethsemane have often taken away the bitters of your life, the scourge of Gabbatha has often scourged away your cares, and the groans of Calvary have put all other groans to flight. Thus, Calvary yields us comfort, rare and rich. We would not have known Christ's love in all its heights and depths if he had not died, nor could we guess the Father's deep affection if he had not given his Son to die. All the common mercies we enjoy sing of love, just as the seashell, when we put it to our ears, whispers of the deep sea from where it came. But if we desire to hear the ocean itself, we must not look at everyday blessings, but at the transactions of the crucifixion. He who wants to know love, needs to retire to Calvary and see the man of sorrows die. Amen.